We begin with the end of a months long trial and a murder mystery that has captivated the community for 26 years. Today, Paul Flores was found guilty of killing Kristen Smart, a Cal Poly student who disappeared in 1996. Paul's father, Ruben Flores, tried separately, was found not guilty of being an accessory to murder after the fact. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with News Channel reporter Dave Alley from the Monterey County Courthouse in Salinas. Paul Flores is now a convicted killer. After a jury delivered its verdict here at the Monterey County Courthouse, deciding Flores is guilty of murdering Kristen Smart. It was a packed courtroom. Among those in attendance, both of Smart's parents, Stan and Denise Smart. Smart's brother and sister were also there, as well as many other family and friends. Within moments of the jury entering the courtroom, Judge Jennifer O'Keefe asked the jury for a person for the sealed verdict. A large envelope was then delivered to the judge who went through the contents. O'Keefe then passed along the decision to the court clerk to read out loud. Tension built in the courtroom as the people in attendance waited for the clerk to announce the decision of the 12-person jury. Within moments, she read the verdict, guilty of first-degree murder. Denise Smart silently wept and other family and friends were visibly relieved to hear the decision. While Paul Flores showed very little to no emotion as he was standing next to his attorney, Robert Sanger. The judge then thanked the jury for their dedication in the long trial, which entered its 14th week. The jurors were then excused. Flores was then removed from the courtroom, taken out by bailiffs with the Monterey County Sheriff's Department. About 20 minutes later, the verdict by the Ruben Flores jury was then announced. He was charged with being an accessory after the fact, a prosecution alleging he covered up the crime by burying Smart's body under the deck of his Arroyo Grande home. Unlike his son, Ruben Flores was found not guilty. When the decision was announced, his defense attorney, Harold Misick, patted Flores on the shoulder and smiled. Afterwards, Ruben Flores spoke to members of the media while walking out of the courthouse. All that stuff they say is evidence. You look through it and there is no evidence against anybody, me or Paul. There wasn't any time and, and just uh, too much made up stuff. That's all I can say. The judge later said Ruben Flores would have his ankle monitoring device removed, which he's worn since he was released on bail following his arrest back in April 2021. Ruben Flores then told the media he would head back home and resume his life in Arroyo Grande. Again, Paul Flores has been found guilty of the 1996 murder of Kristen Smart. He will be sentenced here at the Monterey County Courthouse on Friday, December 9th. He will have the ability to appeal the verdict. In Salinas, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.